Hello, I'm Phil Marks, the Mayor of the City of Belmont, and I'd like to give you an update on some of the decisions made at this month's council meeting. This month's council meeting was a busy one, with decisions made on a wide range of items. The first was the adoption of local planning scheme number 15, amendment number 19, modification to the Springs Development Contribution Plan. A development contribution plan applies to the Springs Precinct, which provides for the coordination of infrastructure, planning and delivery, while ensuring the associated costs are shared equitably amongst landowners. Support for this plan enables the city to continue to collect those contributions for a further five years from land holdings that are yet to be developed. Council also endorsed a submission on the state government's draft planning for tourism position statement, guidelines and registration scheme, which proposes the future management of short stay accommodation. Some of the council's feedback included that it was not considered appropriate to exempt any form of unhosted accommodation such as holiday units and holiday apartments from obtaining development approval and that it would be difficult for local governments to enforce the proposed 60-day exemption. My council strongly believes it is important that local amenity be protected where possible from any potential impacts of this type of accommodation. Other decisions this month included the endorsement of a development application for a four-storey car park and office, 137 Kewdale Road, Kewdale, which incorporates architectural design features addressing the street. This month also endorsed the official adoption of the annual report for 2020 to 2021. This report documents the significant achievements of the city over the reporting period, including providing more than $2 million in assistance measures in response to the pandemic, the opening of Belmont Hub, a number of community events, and the return of the Art Awards. My Council must always consider the needs and wants of all our community. After our community raised concerns about community safety, we listened by forming the Community Safety Task Force and Community Safety Alliance. This city initiative, through its membership of the police, state government agencies, the YWA, Belmont Forum, Belmont City College and local schools has identified a number of issues to address and advocate for. One of these initiatives, Safe School Project, delivered through the Positive Engagement Program. The program provides additional support to students to help them with their learning and keep them in school diverting them away from antisocial and disruptive behaviour in the community. The program is run at a site supplied by the city to create an environment that meets the educational, social and emotional needs of young people and removes potential distractions from those involved. The PEP has had a positive impact on the lives of City of Belmont students and the wider community with the average student attendance increasing by over 25% as a result of the program. Initially begun with support from a federal government grant, those pilot funds have been used and so Council supported a request this month for further financial assistance to the Belmont City College for the continuation of this important program. The City also applauds the excellent work being carried out by Belmont City College in this space. Council also endorsed a quotation for playground renewal at Garvey Park, which will see equipment including new swings, play activities for a wide range of children, good wheelchair access and the provision of plenty of opportunity for active play. 
The upgrade to this popular program will be an exciting addition to the riverside setting of Garvey Park. As many of you will be aware, the State Government recently announced a significant package of major reforms for WA Local Government since the Local Government Act was introduced in 1995. These proposed changes have the potential to impact significantly on the way our Council is elected and operates. The City has prepared a response to the proposed reforms and this month Council endorsed an alternative councillor motion that included support for live streaming of Council meetings. As always, to keep up to date with what's happening in our city, visit our website and our social media channels, including Facebook and Twitter. Thank you and stay safe.